guys, it's Kelly. I'm back with a process video for Coco Daisy. This is using their December kit called Moments. And I am going back in time with these photos uh, of when my daughter was just a baby. And I had originally thought I was going to do this for their sketch challenge, but it ended up looking nothing at all like the sketch. And I kind of felt like... Um, to say it was based off the sketch was kind of pushing it, so I did not um, upload it as part of the sketch challenge. The only thing I think that I have in um, common with the sketch is the fact that I used three photos. So anyway, I um, love these photos of my daughter. When she was little, I would put her in this rocking chair with this bunny that my uh, mother gave her and just put the bunny beside her for sizing purposes just to see how she was growing. And uh, I've just pulled some of these out. Um, I would ultimately like to do a page or a double page spread of her spanning all the months so you could see how she gets bigger. It's just me trying to find the photos, you know, since it was um, pre-digital and just kind of planning it out. And I have not done this, but doing this page has inspired me to put it on my list of pages that I definitely want to do. So I decided to put the middle photo up on some craft foam, and then I backed it with one of the pieces of paper that is a Coco Daisy exclusive. And you saw that I was kind of trying to decide where to place it. My thought behind that was to get a little bit of the aqua and a little bit of the purple so that it would help tie in the purple heart. The purple heart I did cut from my silhouette, and I just used a basic heart shape. Um, there's several that are available. I think this just maybe came with a set or was from the Silhouette store. I'm not sure exactly which one. And I did decide that I wanted to uh, use some gold stitching around the outside edge of the heart because the latter stickers that I am going to be using are the Maggie Holmes Beautiful Cursive Gold um, letters. So I wanted to tie in some of the gold as well. So I'm pulling in these pink paisley die cuts. The flowers are just beautiful. Um, my only complaint with this is there's not enough flowers in this die cut pack. I could definitely use more. I think this uh, collection just screams for more of them and that was the only thing I was really sad about was that um, I think these two are the main big flower clusters. There might be a couple other smaller ones, but that was just what I wanted to reach for. So I'm going to put these up on foam as well. This page is going to be relatively simple, so I like there to be some visual interest, and I think one of the easy ways for me to do that is to have things with different heights. So I am going to repeat the heart theme. Generally, I don't do this unless the sizing is very different or unless that I'm using the same type of embellishment. So since I am using um, two completely different sizes, that I think it works. So I'm what I am fighting with right now is I feel like there's a bit of trapped space in between that right cluster and the bigger photo. And I'm trying to figure out how I can make it appear not as large of a, or not as big of an amount. Um, I know that was not grammatically correct, so just forgive me. Apparently I have not had enough coffee today. So because I can't figure out exactly what I'm going to do with it, I'm, I'm skipping on and I'm moving on to uh, the title, which is these Maggie Holmes uh, word or letter alphas. They're just beautiful. And I'm going to be very original with my title and call it Sweet Baby. Um, I'm just going to um, go back in and put how old she was just in my uh, handwriting and leave it at that. So this is a branding strip off of one of the pieces of paper, and it had uh, a couple of 
frame edges. So I just thought maybe I would cut one of those out and see how it filled out that space. And I'm just going to move it around quite a bit. And there's uh, three other frame edges that you see. I think I'm just going to cut out one, maybe two more. And I had some gold washi tape just sitting on my desk and I thought maybe I would try that, but I didn't like it. And then I thought maybe of mixing the titles with these beautiful uh, Evilicious Alphas. And I just, I felt like this page needed the gold as opposed to um, more of the colors. I just, I like the softness that um, was coming about and I just didn't want to introduce more colors or especially more of the bright. So I had cut another strip of this really pretty paper and I'm going to see if I like that down below as well. And I think I feel like it is too busy and I'm going to take one away and then you're just going to see me constantly play with this. You know, I've said before that sometimes I think that simpler layouts are harder because I feel like each piece of paper or every embellishment or every little thing that you put needs to have a purpose. And, you know, so you will definitely see that I struggle quite a bit with this in trying to achieve the look that I am going for. So I thought about cutting some of this out and I did, um, you know, cut out some of the things where I moved the same embellishments around. Um, I did not cut out nearly as much as I could have because I wanted you to see that sometimes you just have to um, move things around and you have to play and you have to see, you know, what is working and what doesn't. And, you know, I like it when pages come together quickly, but I don't mind it when pages you know, like this, like I'm struggling with because I feel like it's a learning process and I feel like that it helps me make my other pages. So I, I'm just thinking that I'm not loving the white background and I felt like it was a little too stark. So I put it on this Coco Daisy exclusive and then I leave and I come back to it and I'm just auditioning a few more pieces of the paper and I end up sticking with this pink paisley paper, although I am going to flip it around to where that patterned strip is on the bottom. I um, love the pattern and really was so hesitant to use it as my background. I just, you know, that is the only thing is when you have beautiful papers, you just don't want to use them as a background, or at least I don't, because I don't want to waste all of it. But I just felt like that this layout needed that extra bit of softness and I felt like the floral also brought a little bit more interest to the, you know, the bottom of the page, like I had said. So I am going to tr uh, trim off a half an inch and I will keep that strip in case I can use it on another page. And just right away, I feel like that the page is making more sense and it's, it's coming together like I wanted it to. So I'm going to go ahead and get things adhered down. And I did think about how or if I could um, cut that part of the paper out of the heart, but I just decided not to. Um, you know, I, I felt like I had the strip. It was a paper that I would not use in um, large amounts, so I, the strip should be enough for me. So at this point, I am happy with the way it's coming together and I want to go ahead and get things stuck down. I decided to put that little bit of frame on top of the middle photo and my reasoning for that was that I felt like it gave that photo a little bit more emphasis and it also helped bring a little bit more of a vertical design since I had the title underneath that photo as well and it just provided a little bit of a balance. I also took my gold uh, Heidi Swap color shine and sprinkled it around the page, around some clusters. And I have seen um, somebody uh, mention before, and I, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, if you just if you shake it good to where you hear the ball going around in the bottle, that usually, um, or at least in my case, it has mixed up the color shine enough to where it doesn't leave those puddles. So. 
And if you use it frequently, I don't think that you have to shake it as much, or at least I find with my climate that I don't have to. So if you uh, have last month's kit, pull out those sequins, the sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps go perfectly with this kit as well. They, um, the peaches, the corals, there's some clear and um, little teeny stars as well. Uh, they just work well with the page. So I did add a couple uh, to that cluster as well. So the last thing that I do is I'm gonna pull this little bow die cut and I am gonna pop it up as well. Again, just for that visual interest. You know, I feel like it's a simple page and little things like that just really add um, character to the page. So that's it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have some close-ups at the end. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you.